This video was brought to you today by A Class Kids. Let the fun begin! Hi guys, welcome to our Computation Significant Figures video. Significant Figures, what are they? A significant figure is your first non-zero number on your left. Every number after the first significant figure is considered a significant figure. Let's look at a number. Let's say we have the number 94508, which is a 94,508. Our first significant figure, which is our first number on our left, our first non-zero number, will be 9. Then, our second significant figure is 4. Our third significant figure is 5. Our fourth significant figure is 0. And our fifth significant figure is 8. Let's look at another number. Let's say we have the number 0 0.0570. Now, our first significant figure is our first non-zero number on our left, so that will be 5. Our second significant figure is 7, and our third significant figure is 0. Do you see that? Let's delve further into significant figures. Let's say we're asked to write the number 98,534.29 to three significant figures. Okay, so we have our little ring here with our numbers and our place values. So our numbers are placed in their correct place value position. Do you see that each number has a specific place value? Very good. Now, let's look at our significant figures. Our first significant figure is 9. Our second significant figure is 8. And our third significant figure is 5. Now we are asked to write this number to three significant figures. So we must look at the number that follows our third significant figure, which in this case is 3. And we ask ourselves, is this number greater than or equal to 5? Now, if it is greater than or equal to 5, we add 1. In this case, 3 is less than 5, so we leave our third significant figure as is. So we do nothing. 2 or 5. So our next question is, we have to remove the 3 and the 4. Now, when we move, remove the 3 and the 4, do you realize that our numbers, they shift in place value? They shift in place value. And this means that we need to place something where the 3 and the 4 is so as to hold the position of our numbers that are ahead of it, which are 9, 8, and 5. So we place zeros. Our zeros are used as placeholders to keep our 9, 8, and 5 in their original place value. Now, our decimal point acts as a bouncer. It's more like a separator, but he makes a really good bouncer. And what he does is he separates our whole numbers from our fractions. And he keeps our whole numbers completely separated from our fractions. Now, let's say we have to remove the 9 and the 2. When we remove the 9 and the 2, does it change the place value of our whole numbers? No, it does, doesn't. So, therefore, we can see that 98,534.29 three significant figures is simply 98,500. Do you see that? Pretty cool, isn't it? Let's try another. Let's look at this question. Now, this question reads, write the number 306.457 to two significant figures. Let's set up our table. So we have our numbers in position. Again, do you see that each number has a specific place value? 
Now we're asked to write this number to two significant figures. So count with me of these two significant figures. Our first significant figure is 3. Our second significant figure is 0. So we look at the number that follows our second significant figure. In this case, it's 6. And we ask ourselves, is this number greater than or equal to 5? It is greater than or equal to 5, so therefore we need to add 1 to our 0. When we add 1 to our 0, it becomes 3, 1. Now we need to get rid of that 6. Now if I get rid of that 6, does it change the place value of my 3 and my 1? It does. So therefore, what we need is what we call a placeholder. And that placeholder will help to pull the position of our 3 and 1 in their original position. Very good. Again, do you see that our decimal point acts as a separator, keeping our fractions and our whole numbers separated from each other. Now, if I remove my fractions, do you see that it does not change the place value of my whole numbers? Yeah, pretty cool, isn't it? So our new number is 310. Did you get that? Let's try another question. Let's say we have this question. Write the number 0 0.365 to two significant figures. Again, let's go set up our table. So we have our table. We have 0 0.365. Do you see that each number holds a specific place value? And we're asked to write this number to two significant figures. Can you count with me? Our first two significant figures? Let's go. One, two. So we have our second significant figure. Now we look to the number that follows our second significant figure. In this case, it's five. And we ask ourselves, is this number equal to or greater than five? It is equal to five. So therefore, we must add one to our six. Now we add one to our six, we're gonna get seven. And we now drop our five. Now do you see, if I drop my 5, it does not change the place value of the numbers that are ahead of it. Do you see that? Pretty cool, isn't it? So therefore, we leave our numbers as is. So our new number is simply 0 0.37. Very good. Let's look at another question. This question reads, write the number 0 0.931 to one significant figure. So let's set up our table. Can you count with me our first significant figure? Let's count. One. So therefore, we look at the number that follows our first significant figure. In this case, we're looking at our three. So we ask ourselves, is this number greater than five or equal to five? In this case, our three is less than five. So we leave our nine just as it is. And now we must drop our three and our one. Now, when we drop our three and our one, do you see that it does not change the place value of our 9. So therefore, our new number is 0 0.9. Let's try another question. Write the number 2,975 to two significant figures. Let's set up our table. So we have 2,975. Again, do you see that each number holds a specific place value? Very good. Now, can you count with me our first two significant figures? Let's go. One, two. Now we look at the number that follows our second significant figure. In this case, it's seven. And we ask ourselves, is this number greater than or equal to five? It is greater than five, so therefore we must add one to nine. But when we add 1 to 9, we get 10. So that 1 from our 10 goes over to our 2, and the 0 stays in the 9 position. So that gives us 3, 0. Very good. Now we must get rid of our 7 and our 5. 
Now if I got rid of my 7 and my 5, do you see that it changes the place value of my number? Very good. So therefore, what must I do? I must therefore place placeholders to hold the position. And that's how we get 3,000. So you see that? Pretty cool, isn't it? That's the end of it, basically, guys. At A-Class Theaters, we truly believe in the gift of sharing. And we're so confident that you'd love our videos that we're giving them away for free. Be sure to like our video and subscribe to our channel. And check us out on Facebook at A-Class Theaters. If you need to contact us, check the description box for our contact information. Thank you so much for watching. We look forward to seeing you next time. Bye!